What's up guys, it's Unders. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your instruments and audio tracks into the mixer or how we can lock them so in the playlist, whenever we put new sounds in, they always go to the right track. Let's get started. And a big thanks to the channel sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast efficiently and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. Okay, so let's just have a look at first how we can get any old sound into the mixer. So I've just dropped some audio in here. Any piece of audio, we can double click on it. And up at the top here, it says track. As we drag that along, we can see different mixer channels highlight, right? Just for argument's sake, let's put this onto one and one is now highlighted. So this 808 sound is always gonna go to insert one. And we can see that happening there. Now there's a quicker way to do that. Let's double click on the hi-hat. If we use Command and L, it's gonna automatically assign the next free channel. It's also gonna color and name it for us. Let's drop that on five there. I have the first four assigned as buses. So it's named it hi-hat and it's colored it green. Perfect. So we could then go to kick one, do Command L, and it's gonna do that in the chain for us as well. So let's take our 808 and let's do Command L and it'll put that just on seven for us and name it and color it. Super useful for us, right? So now, they're all assigned as such. But what about when we've got something like a kick two? Well, if we were to double click on that and quickly reassign it, it's now got its own channel. That's not really what we want. It's just a different kick pattern. We could double click on it and drag it back to where we want it to be. However, there's another way that we can set things up. So on here where it says track three, this is where we've got kick one. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna put it into track mode, audio track, and we are gonna send it to number six, which is called kick one. Now, anything put on this channel will automatically route to the kick one channel. So we can go here and you can see that kick two is also rooted in there, for example. So to take it off and put it down here, it's on 13, put it up here, it routes back to kick one. So we can set these channels to always route to a particular mixer track as well as another really useful way to do it. So what if we want to rename, recolor and things of that nature? Well, a couple of ways we can do that as well. As you saw here, when we assigned it to a mixer track with a name and color, it took the name over, which is super useful, right? If we select something like track four, we can right click, we can do rename and color. Let's call it ride. If we tap F2, it will find the next sort of unused color, or we can click on here and assign something from the color wheel. We can do the same thing in the mixer channel. If we press F2, click here, we've now got recently used colors as well. In this case, it's right already, but we could click zero and it's gonna assign that color for us so it now matches with what we have in the playlist up here. All right, so what about instruments? Let's bring in an instrument, we'll press F8, and we'll just grab something like Harmer, and we'll just drop that over here on insert 10. And because we dropped that on insert 10 and brought it in that way, it's colored it and named it Harmer. That's really useful for us. We could make track five, for example, an instrument track. We could go track mode, instrument track, and we could select Harmer there. And as we can see there, that's now made us a Harmer track, and it's created a linked Harmer track in the mixer. That's a really efficient way to go. It's also made this a nice default piano roll linked to that instrument and that mixer channel. So those guys are the various ways that you can bring audio instruments and link things to the playlist and the mixer track to keep everything organized and have a nice efficient mix session. I hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, please do bash a like on the video. It helps this content get in front of more people that it can help out. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.